what is going on everybody uh, welcome to my channel in this series i plan to um, construct a convolution network using the cats and dogs data set in the past two videos uh, i have shown you how to like you know download the download the data set uh, go to the data set and you know process the data set convert it into rgb and everything so in this video i plan to uh, make the model uh, hopefully that is in my steps making a model uh, yeah yeah so here before splitting the data I would like to make a model so first of all I would say that model uh, let, let me just you know check how the models are formed here um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, TensorFlow, dense, dense output. I can use like this, like that. Oh no, let's go to compilation. Yeah, I can't specify it like you know being separated out. But I would like to, you know, see the one that I've used. Let me just see the way to do the TensorFlow. Simple way that I, the way that I like to do. Wait a minute. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah, I need to specify the sequential layer to a model. I thought it's just dot. So I um, naming my model model, and I need to you know specify the sequential as a function. So yeah, that is what I'm going to I'm gonna do now. Here, the model will take some inputs. So I as I am taking the model and feeding it into a neural uh, convolution layer. I am going to just use uh, model dot model dot adds and use the count two D. Going to specify sixty four different filters, and each of the filters will be of three by three. Three comma three. That the syntax and the activation function that I would guarantee you the activation would be ReLU for all cases. Yeah, now, in the, as this is the first layer, I need to specify the input shape, uh, which would be of... For this, uh, the input shape would be of 100 by 100. 100 comma... Sorry, 100 comma 1. And is there anything else that I need? Uh, I do not... I, I'm just gonna put in the pattern, because it might work better. So... I'm just gonna, you know, add another layer by typing const to the another 64 of three, uh, sorry, three by three, uh, and then activation of <coughs> activation of revenue. I don't need to specify the info, uh, import, sorry, the input shape here. Gonna add few more layers like <clears throat> in total of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 and the first one being 6 gonna uh, can change it to a different model just you know nothing important but you know changing it always you know changes the result in some way I can like you know afterwards change it back <clears throat> so before uh, now I'm going to add the dense layer so it's gonna be model.add dense uh, but before that, I need to flatten the flatten the output of the convolution. So what I'm going to do is to use flatten, but I think I did not import it. So I am going to import flatten from the layers and copy it from my other screen here. So import dense flatten. Uh, do I need anything else? It's max pooling to be max pooling to. It was max pooling. Um, I was confused. Sorry. Dense. Yeah, I don't need to reshape. Yeah, good. So I'm gonna import it here. Flatten. 
while you're flying it. Uh -huh. Model dot add button. Uh, uh, let me just you know see how the plan works in here. This would be cares, layers, and button. Mm hmm. Click here, so layers of button, add con shape. Add button, yeah, this this one would be it. Just gonna copy and paste it. Yeah, so it flattens the output of the convolution and adds it to the dense layer and dense would get uh, here it says that as 64, but I'm going to use something like 512. Just a number, nothing important. Uh, yeah, so gonna see does anything else needed uh, units activation yeah i'm gonna need activation it's bias initializer i'm gonna i'm not gonna use dropout in this sense mm. comma activation it's not exactly none i'm gonna use the same activation I'm, i've been using so it's value wait a minute yeah it's value here so gonna add another dense layer and it, it would have two and the activation of this not with set a softmax yeah softmax would be good not a sigmoid uh softmax so yeah hmm i think we are ready so lastly i'm going to see the model so i'm just gonna give them all the summary hopefully there are no errors gonna produce a clean summary of how many no, no, it didn't. Uh, unexpected argument on the add. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This will. Oh, it is on. Yeah, in the second one. Right. So I'm just gonna, you know, cut this, paste it in here, and, and separate these two out with comma. And then, yeah. Now, as you can see, the, my model is created. It has. Yeah, a uh, few parameters to train. There are no non-trainable -train parameters, so this is how you create a model in TensorFlow. Uh, and you, I'm going to use this model to train my, like you know, the dataset that I've created in previous videos. And yeah, I would now split it into tra test and train. So train, comma, test equals data dot create test and split. No. It's not that. Ah, uh, it's test train test split takes the arguments of array, uh, array the, the array, the test size, the train size. Yeah, so the array would be data. The test size test size would be zero point one, and the train size would be zero point nine. So it would return to me the two things. Yeah, and if I have a test test and split here, if I use this, mm. oh, it also separates the interesting. But I think I am good. If I just you know give it like this, yeah, I think I'm good. So I'm not exactly rewriting the data, just you know uh, using uh, different variables. So yeah, I uh, this, these are separate. So let's let me just you know see the length. Print the length of string and print. Print length of test. So this would be around as I divide into 0 0.1. Oh, I also need to specify the shuffle if it has, right? Yeah, shuffle boolean equals two. So yeah, I do have to specify the shuffle. Shuffle equals true. Yeah, I need to rerun this cell. 
uh, as it's like you know taking its time, I am going to use uh, you know the separate out the x and the y's. So the easy uh, way that I have seen, as you can see, oh, it's done. So it's you can see the it has divided into this is, this is the ninety percent is the training set, and this is the testing set. So it's not shuffled yet. So I've, I need to you know redo it, redo these two steps. So what I'm going to take from the train is that um, this would be a uh, an umpire array. So an umpire array of I of zero, I guess, for I in train. So a train contains each of the I it contains uh, the first of all the if I can just show you uh, the train the first value of the train would contain the image here, the image one dimension and an array of if, if it's a dog or a cat. Uh, so first value it seems that it is a dog and if I just give it a true to the second, uh, the third value, the value that I'm trying to see, I think it would be a cat as well as I have not trained, well, sorry, test shuffled it. So whether or not to shuffle the data rules, if false, then stratify must be none, okay whether or not to shuffle the data so it didn't say if none there is a static fashion using the class labels using well okay never mind that here it is of a dog why are dogs on the first place here did i do something wrong here if the label is cat just specify it here if the label is okay there are around 15 to 25 Thousand, right, so I'm just gonna see the 20,000 value if it's a different one because I think I did them now. I did not, did not, uh huh, did not. So these are dogs for some reason. It's upside down, that's weird. Okay, never mind that. Mm, uh, so what I'm going to do now is shuffle these things, so to reshuffle it. And um, yeah, as I was saying, that each of the values in this train set has two things here, or two values. So the first one would be the image here of int int eight. So instead of like you know whole numbers, so we need to convert it into like you know divide it by, divide it by two fifty five. So and also we need these as, as labels and these as the x values. So I have I am taking the for for i for each of the each of the indexes or each of the items in train I am taking the first item so this is what I'm taking and storing into x and not only that I am also dividing it by 255 what works worse. so I'm going to also specify the y as same thing uh, but I am going to skip the first one for I in train ah uh, yeah train yes Right, not going to you know divide it because it's just zero and one, and I also need x valid for the val validations array of zero for i in tests divided by two thirty five dots, and I would also need the y valid for np dot array of y1 plus i of 1 for i in text yeah i think that's it now to train start to train the model we just have to save all the fit fit we need to specify the x which is the x in our case and the y so our case the y we need to you know make it uh, in a batch size of um 10, 16, giving it 16, just, you know, specify, specify it, so that by the 16, epochs, I need to try, I would like to train it for 20, yeah, like, you know, 5, 3 epochs for now, uh, verbals, I, I don't exactly know yet what verbals does, but, yeah, that's, 
So uh, I need to also specify the validation data. So the validation data is. I need to see how the validation data is. You know, what's the syntax behind the validation data? Right, a bit. Stack for us to. Yeah, I need to do it like this. I'm just gonna copy it here so that you guys can see. Yeah, it's just X valid and Y valid. And one thing that I've seen uh, while doing a CNN before, uh, before this one, is that I don't need to specify the 255 years. I need to convert the X and the X valids to an S type. So I need to, you know, do this. Um, type float 64. Just gonna copy it here and do the same for the X valid. X valid dot s i float float thirty two divided by twenty five. Nice. Okay. Um. After that, uh, one thing a good practice is to see the shapes for which it's being like you know getting in in the layer so I need to I will print the shape of everything uh, x dot shape print y dot shape sorry uh, print y Alex yep that's about it yeah X is not defined, yes, of course it's not. I'm going to do this, train this, yeah. Float argument is must be a number uh, string or number, not generate the float argument. What is the float argument? Hmm, float 32. Interesting. Interesting, so hmm. As type flow 32, so I need to change it to. Just gonna search it out because this is something that I've been facing before. Mm, let me see the time. It is recording 18 minutes. Ha. Huh. I think I'm gonna pause this video, figure out this error, and then in the next video I will show you the entire thing from the test training. So as in this video, as you can see, we have created the model. And yeah, so in the next video we will, I guess, hopefully complete the uh, therapy. So yeah, thank you.